The movie begins with a group of pre-teenagers who are playing spin the bottle at a birthday party. The rules of the game are simple. Those who are chosen by the bottle have to make out with the spinner if they both have the same gender. It's Stu's turn. But before that, his friend Charlie teaches him what he has to do to impress the chosen girl. After Stu leaves, Charlie spins the bottle, hoping that the bottle will point at the girl with the green dress. However, the bottle chooses the goth girl named Anisha instead. The girl seems happy with the result because she likes Charlie and they both get into the wardrobe. Anisha begins to tease him, but Charlie keeps telling her to back off until he is thrown off the wardrobe. In retaliation, the disappointed Anisha curses Charlie for rejecting her, wishing that he will always fail in his future love and the woman he dated will eventually marry the next guy after him. The scene moves to the present day when Charlie has now become a very successful dentist while his best friend Stu is now a plastic surgery doctor. Charlie reveals to Stu that he just broke up with a beautiful woman named Carol which confuses Stu as Carol was very into him. They work in the same building, however, Stu's clinic is filled with sexy women while the majority of Charlie's patients are elders. After work, the men attend Charlie's ex-girlfriend, Katie, wedding party. During the ceremony, Katie surprisingly thanks Charlie for being her lucky charm as she found her true love just after breaking up with him. A woman sitting next to him suddenly starts a conversation with Charlie and it seems like she is attracted to him. However, Charlie's eyes are locked to a beautiful woman named Cam Wexler. She coincidentally sits on an empty chair next to Charlie and they start talking to each other. Unfortunately, despite her attractiveness, the woman who runs a penguin habitat is a clumsy woman. A few moments later, Charlie is approached by the bride and they accidentally spot Carol, Charlie's ex, who also has found another lover. The next day, Charlie is shocked when he enters his dental clinic and discovers that all his patients are young ladies. While walking with Stu, they come across Carol in a bridal shop. She shows her wedding ring to them, indicating that she is getting married. Carol states that Charlie is her lucky charm. That evening, Charlie returns home and receives a lot of voice notes from random women who desperately want to know him. On the other hand, while feeding penguins, Cam slips and subsequently gets tackled by a penguin, causing her tooth chipped. She calls Charlie and requests an emergency treatment. Charlie, who at the same time is having fun with another woman, immediately drives over to his clinic and fixes her tooth. The dentist refuses to be paid and asks her out for dinner in exchange. However, she politely rejects and leaves the room. Not long after, Cam returns to Charlie after she was unable to start her car. Charlie helps her, but she accidentally leaves her key inside the car, which is locked from inside, and begs Charlie to take her home to get the spare set of the key. After getting the key, Charlie once again asks her to go to dinner with him, but Cam is not emotionally ready for that. Upon arriving at his house, Charlie is very surprised when he finds his assistant, Ribat, has been waiting for him. She begs Charlie to sleep with her after she found several stories about him being a lucky charm to a single woman. Charlie refuses, but Ribat suddenly jumps onto him and you know the rest. In the morning, Stu encourages Chuck to accept that he has a lucky charm and tells him to take advantage of that by sleeping with more women. Charlie initially refuses as he is not that kind of man, but Stu eventually manages to convince him, saying he will be doing it to help others find their true love. After a series of sexual intercourses, the women that he slept with one by one start to find their lover. However, Charlie is not happy and feels lonely as the women just want to utilize his lucky charm, thus he decides to stop the service. At the same time, Charlie still has feelings for Cam and wants to fight harder to get her love. He meets Cam at work and tries his luck for the third time. This time, Cam is finally willing to go to dinner with the dentist, but she warns Charlie to maintain his expectation as she only considers him as a friend. After spending their entire night together in a festival, they finally kiss and Cam seems to have a crush on Charlie too. The following day, the couple go out on a date again and this time Charlie has the courage to take her home. While enjoying their quality time, Stu suddenly calls the dentist and informs him that every single woman he had slept with is now married. Charlie becomes upset and immediately withdraws his intention to sleep with her as he doesn't want Cam to marry another person. The next day, Charlie is still unsure about the lucky charm and wants to put the curse to the test. He decides to date a woman named Alina, who Stu believes will never get married because of her appearance. He even offers her a thousand dollars so that she wants to go out with him. The dinner goes well and they end up getting physical. While waiting for the experiment result, Charlie pretends to be sick and requests a long-distance relationship with Cam for some time. 
After a week has passed, Cam feels like Charlie is avoiding her and she states that she can't hold it anymore. She sends him some pictures, but Charlie hangs up the phone for several reasons. Suddenly, Stu calls and concludes that the curse is fake after he went out with Alina, and they are still not married now. Charlie is relieved and immediately rushes to Cam's place where the couple can finally have fun together. In the morning, Charlie is shocked when he sees Alina kissing a man on the TV. He becomes furious and calls Stu, who turns out just pretended to go out with Alina. Since that, Charlie becomes highly protective over Cam as he is afraid that she will meet her true love. He keeps calling her for no reason, also giving her a lot of flowers and gifts. These actions annoy Cam and she becomes uncomfortable with Charlie's weird behavior. One day, Charlie visits Cam at work and prepares to propose to her, but suddenly he sees Cam is close to someone else, named George, who is actually just Cam's hairdresser. After George leaves, Charlie loses control and confronts the man, beating him in front of the visitors. Fed up with his strange behavior, Cam decides to break up with the dentist. Charlie is devastated. While talking to Reba, he accidentally sees a spinning bottle and suddenly remembers about the girl who hexed him, Anisha. He comes to Stu and asks for his help to locate Anisha. After a long drive, they eventually arrive at her house where he begs her to reverse the spell. However, she states that there was no curse. She encourages Charlie to let Cam go. Charlie still does not give up and tries to arrange a meeting between Cam and Howard Blaine. A penguin expert Cam admires. The penguin enthusiast's relationship deepens and Charlie just can observe from a distance. Charlie tries hard to let Cam go. While he plays a penguin game, suddenly Stu shows up, announcing he is getting married. To Lara, turns out that Lara knows Cam and she informs Charlie that she is leaving for Antarctica. With Howard, Stu encourages the dentist to fight for his love for Cam if he really loves her. Charlie rushes to the airport and buys tickets for both available planes that are heading to Antarctica. He pays for the tickets even though it costs $17,000. He runs to the plane and finally confesses his feelings to Cam while begging her not to go. Turns out that Howard is married and she goes to Antarctica with them too. Before the plane departs, Charlie gives Cam a ring box with a pebble inside it. Cam calls Charlie and the couple kiss on the plane. On the other hand, Anisha pulls out a pin from a voodoo doll with Charlie's face on. It, indicating that the curse is now finally removed. A year later, the couple are enjoying their time together in Antarctica while being surrounded by penguins. 